Hi everybody, welcome. It's Monday evening, 8 p.m. Eastern. So that means it's time for Stamping with Denise, my live video, or my Facebook Live. And I have a fun card to show you today. Let me pull this up on my iPad here so I can make sure. I can see. So I hope everybody's had a great weekend. I had a nice weekend. I actually had a three-day weekend. I planned ahead and scheduled to take Friday off, and it was so nice. All day Saturday, I kept thinking it was Sunday, and I'm like, no, it's not. I have another day. Yay. So that's a lot of fun when that happens. Okay, so as usual, if the, if the comments at the bottom of your screen are in the way, just slide them over to the right, and they'll disappear. If you want them back, swipe back over to the left. Um, please like and share or comment on my video. That helps me a lot. And each week, I, choose, I randomly choose somebody who shared my video to win the project I made for that week. And I don't know if you remember last week, I made this really pretty card. I took the designer series paper, we put uh, Versamark on it, and then I took a combination of um, Dazzling Diamonds and Clear Embossing Powder, put all over it and heat embossed it. Um, and this card next week is going to Sandra Tan Tangway. Sandra, I hope I've got your name right. Sandra Tangway. So I'm going to need your, you can PM me your address and I will send that to you. And if I don't hear from you here, I will send you a message so I can get your address. So I have a fun card today. We're going to be using the Stamparatus. So I hope you like that. Um, it's something, a project I've been wanting to do. Hi, Nancy. Nice to see you. Welcome. And so I hope you like it. Um, Stamparatus is a great tool. I don't pull it out nearly enough. And so I saw someone demoing this card, and I'm like, I've got to do that. I've got to work on that. And they made it look so easy, and it really is easy. So I will um, put the camera or the phone up in the holder, and we will get started on today's card. Okay. So, today, the stamp set I'm going to be using today is the Bloom and Grow. And I've pro I really like this. This was out of the, um, this is out of the new catalog, the annual catalog. And I've probably made three or four cards with it, and I really do like it quite a bit. It's pretty versatile, and so today we're going to be using the Stamparatus to make this card. We'll be using this little bundle of flowers. Um, I had to do a swap, and I made, I don't know, like 20 using this card, but it was a little bit different. I don't have it right in front of me. I should have brought it. That wasn't very good planning, was it? But and there's also a die, a coordinating die set that cuts out these, all these flower bundles. And that's gonna be very important for our project today that we have that die. And I'll tell you why. So, okay. So real quick while I'm thinking about it here, I think I'll give you the measurements for our um, our paper. We're, our base is going to be Bermuda Bay, and that is 8.5 by 5.5, and, and that'll be, of course, folded in half. We have our black mat that's 4 and an eighth by 5 and 3 eighths. We have our white, our piece of Whisper White DSP, and this is what we'll be stamping on, and it's four by five and a quarter. We'll be using a piece of vellum that's three and a half by two and a half. And the banner, I've already put the sentiment on it, is um, two by two inches by four inches. So I wanted to give you those before we got started, okay? 
So, um, the card's not, once you get, kind of get the hang of it, it's not too hard. Um, you have to watch these magnets. You don't want to clank them together. You'll break them. Um, but it's nice because it will hold your paper right in place while you stamp. So I think that what we are going to do, okay, I'm going to start out right up here. I want to make sure I've kind of got things going the right direction here. Yep. Okay. So what you can do is take your card front that you're going to be stamping on and just kind of lay it where you're going to want to put it, which is right there. Let me put that little one out of the way for now. We'll come back to that. Okay. And then it picks it up, and that's great. And see the magnets hold it in place so it doesn't move, but I do know that my, my little point of reference for the corner is right up there. So I will be coloring this with the blends, but let me put a, a stamp case. Works really nice to go under this to keep it, um, makes it a little more level. Ooh, well that doesn't look very good. This is a kind of a new stamp pad. I don't like that. Let me, let me stamp that off a little bit. It's kind of mucky and Maybe my stamp pad had a little, came with a little bit too much ink on it. Hang on a second. Let me stamp some of that off. I didn't have that when I did this card this weekend. I got a nice image, didn't I? Let me just see again here. Let me stamp that off. Okay. And you know what? I think I'm going to get my, I'm going to clean it with my, uh, my uh, chamois get some of that off of there so and we'll get right back on you know I wonder if I had a little bit of I don't think I did though I thought maybe I had a little moisture on my stamp but I shouldn't have okay sorry about that folks kind of, kind of a false start there okay Okay, we'll try this again. So I do know that my reference points for my piece of cardstock is right up here in this corner. Okay, so we'll try this again. And if it happens again, I'll get a, a different. The nice thing though about the Stamparatus is if you don't get it inked up well the first time, you can certainly Lay it down, you know, re-ink it and stamp it back again, okay? So great. So I'm gonna flip this around and I'm gonna go right there. I'm gonna do that again. There we go. Okay. And so what I did was I used, I told you we used the dot, there, there were dies that would cut this out. I uh, used it to cut out some sticky, sticky notes to use as a mask for this. Okay. Hold on here. I've got, I've got just, I got to get separated. Here we go. And so it, it makes it super easy. So rather than having to fussy cut something, you can just cover it up like that. And let's see, cover that up right like that. Okay. Very good. Now we're going to clean this off. Put the, get my piece of paper lined up. Oh, I'm getting 
this oriented. Okay, we're going to go kind of like this right here. Okay, put it right about like that. Okay, that's one thing. Sometimes the stamps stick to the paper and move the paper a little bit, but that's why you always know where your kind of your point of reference is. So I'd like to welcome those who have just joined us. Don't forget to like, comment, and share my video, and you might win this card I'm making tonight. Got a little bit of ink here on my desk. And we got a little bit of a false start. I had an extra juicy. You know what? I don't like that placement. I'm going to move that over just about one square. Let's see if that's going to get... That's better. It's better. Stamp it like that. And I had it right there. Right like. Oops, see, I just did what I told you you're not supposed to do. Super strong magnets, and they will they do break kind of easy, so you have to be careful. Yeah, and I haven't seen who all's joined us, but the winner of the vid of the card from last sharing last week's video is Sandra Tang Tangway. I hope I got your name right, Sandra. Okay, so then we're going to cover these two up. We're going to mask these just like this. I already know this is laid out a little bit different than the my original, but that's okay. Because you know what? A lot of it gets covered up with the banner anyway. Oh, come on. I had four pieces. There we go. And here is this one. Okay. So it's nice when you can make a, ma you know, the, I had not even thought about using the um, die cut the die to cut out the stamped image to make your mask. I don't know why that never ever entered my mind. Okay, so let me pull that off of there. And the other thing we're going to add are the little um, kind of berries, for lack of a better word, from the at the bottom down here. Okay, so we'll do that. There we go. And again, we'll just be flipping it, or we'll stamp. Flip it around. But it really does make it pretty easy. This isn't hard, it just has a lot of steps to it. Wipe some of that ink off of there. And then remove this here. This one up here. I'm gonna have this laying right here. You know, at first when I did it, my card, I wasn't going to put that there. Oh, shoot. That's okay. Because you know what? That's not my, this isn't the final card. So that's okay. I have one that's already stamped and colored, so. I wasn't going to put these little berries on there, but you know what? I kind of liked them. So. Ink it up. And stamp it up there. And there we go. You can take off the mask masks. Now sometimes you have to get a little creative. Hold on, let me wipe off, wipe this off here. And move this out of the way. I'll show you. Because there's a bit of a, a difference. 
you know, because you have that mask on there, there's some things that might, you might have to draw in as you're coloring to kind of fill in like, um, like let's say this flower right here. And when I did that, I just used my Stampin' Right marker. And let's see, that flower I did in shades of Bermuda Bay. Now where is my Bermuda Bay? I think it mostly used, let me show you a little bit. Of, this is the dark. I'm just gonna color part of this here. just put a little piece of paper under here. Uh, wrong end. It's just the dark one. Yeah. I think, you know, I filled in where I wanted it dark at. You know, kind of in the middle. Took my light one. Now the person whose video I saw, she colored, she drew the black lines before she colored it in but you know what I kind of thought it was easier to color it in and then kind of draw my black lines so so anyway you get the idea there I'm not going to color all of this in for you And you know, if you need to, then you can outline, you know, you kind of outline, you know, the bit of this flower here, you know, to kind of make it look like leaves. You might have to do it like over here where you're on, on this, the stem, you might have to kind of fill that in. You might have to see right here. I know when I did my card, oh, like this one here, I had to kind of just round out my little berry but you know what I don't I wouldn't worry about it too much because you know what this is nature and nothing in nature is perfect goodness great gracious, gracious we know that so um, this is this is one that I did I didn't want to make y'all wait and watch me color but I know the colors I used were the light and dark rich razzleberry on this the Bermuda Bay on here, dark and light, mint macaroon on this flower. The leaves, some of them are old olive and some of them are granny apple green. Let me look at my notes here. And then um, the red berries are poppy parade and these up here are Highland Heather. But you know, really you can do just about any um, you know, combination of colors you wanted. But I thought it, it turned out and looked very nice. Um, I mean, you could you could just do it like that and really put just a little bit of embellishment on it maybe. But we're gonna go ahead and put it together. And this isn't even everything that the original um, person had done. She had used in the stamp set, where did I just put it? There were some of these these smaller flowers here and leaves right here, these three things, she had embossed, heat embossed on the on some vellum and die cut them out and, and put them on there. But you know, I, I was having trouble with my embossing powder coming, flaking off of my vellum. So I don't know what the, what the trick is to that. I don't know, I don't know. If anyone has any ideas, I'm I'm very much up for suggestions. So um, I'm not sure what she did. So I just decided, you know what, I would just keep it simple. And really, I think with the flowers that are on there, that's more than enough. Um, I'm trying to see if I can show you where I kind of freehanded. I mean, I know I had to finish off some of these berries and some of the stems. I've got a little extra mark there, but you know what? No one's going to really notice it unless you point it out. Um, actually, right here, I can probably finish. I missed. And every time I look at this, I see something more to do. You know, I could finish outlining that flower right there. Uh, let's see. There, there's probably a couple of other things here. But um, anyway, you get the picture. 
if it bothers you, you know, you can fill it in. If not, it's not a big deal. So let's see. We are, let me get my tape runner here. And we are going to attach this onto the black. Oops, that's what I was afraid of. Almost out. Okay. Um, and we're going to put this on the black. I just thought this made a really, really pretty card. And because I like to color, that's why another reason I liked. I know some people don't like to color and they find it to be quite tedious. And I understand that. But, um,. You know what, I'd like to do something with shades of, of gray. I think that would look cool. That might be something I'll have to play with one of these days here. Okay, and let's put this on our card base. Any of you that are just joining us, um, please be sure to like and share my video, comment, share below and you might win this card that I am putting together right now. Okay, so like I said, in and of itself, I think this is a, pretty, uh, a very pretty card, but we are going to finish it. Now vellum's all, you know, vellum can always be tricky to attach simply because adhesive shows through, but the nice thing about it is we're gonna attach it here that the sentiment banner's gonna go right over it, and we are, it's, not going to be an issue. So I'm going to put that right. I kind of want it centered. And look at that. See, I just I just saw that I forgot to color in that red berry. But you know what? Nobody's going to see it with the um, sentiment over it. But you you see how you can see the um, adhesive through the. Uh, vellum there. It's not very pretty and so you always kind of have to be creative when you're attaching the vellum. Um, but because we're covering it with this, it works beautifully. Now the original person, she had put this up on dimensionals, but I, I glued mine down flat, mostly because I wasn't paying very close attention to what she did. Ha uh ha. -huh. So, let's see, yep, we'll put that right there. We're just going to leave it it's a little bit lower than I wanted it, but that's okay. Um, we've got this bow up here, which is great. Um, uses the braided linen trim. I just love this. This was a carryover, I think, from the Occasions catalog, and it stayed, and it's in the annual catalog. And I just love it. It's a nice alternative to the linen thread. It's got a, just a little bit more presence because it's a little bit thicker. But I just love this. Just trying to. Here we go. There we are. That's good. We had some pretty strong storms go through the area earlier to this afternoon and early evening, and I was kind. Of, we had our our lights flickered, so I was afraid we were going to not have electricity. So I'm going to take this glue dot off, but it's a little bit big, so I'm going to kind of bunch it up so I can hide it under here. There we go. You know what, move it right over here a little bit more. There you go, good. You can trim those off if you want. I think I'm making just a little bit shorter. But I tell you this linen, um, oh, what do you, what's it called? Did I say it was called braided linen trim? It's so easy to work with, so easy. Okay, and then the last thing, at least on my version, are these little flowers that are cut out of the also cut out of the vellum 
and there are dies for this in the, the die set that goes with this stamp set. So again, I'm going to attach these with glue dots. I'm going to kind of make it, the glue dot a little bit smaller, kind of bunch it up in a ball like that. one. Yeah, I was getting frustrated with uh, the heat embossing on the vellum and, and it kept cracking, so I don't know what I was doing wrong. That's something I had not done before. Okay, this one here. And don't worry, we're going to cover those little glue dots that you can see through the vellum. We're going to cover that up with little um, rhinestones. If I, I'd hoped I had put in an order and ordered the peacock rhinestones, which are the, the bright jewel tones, but they're on back order, so... They didn't come when my shipment came on Friday. I knew they were on back order. I was kind of hoping they'd make it, and they, but they didn't. But that's okay. They'll be there next time around. Okay, so put this one here. One right here. And then one right here. Very good. And there we go. Then on this card, because it's a, it's a darker color, I would probably put a white panel on the inside, but there we go. Forever starts today. I think that makes a great wedding card. So I hope you liked it. If you, please, if you do, please let me know. Um, share my video, comment you shared. Maybe I'll be sending this out to you next week. And if you um, have something you'd like to see, for me to demonstrate or